Okay, we're here. This is Act 1, Scene 1 of Julius Caesar. This is the Library of Congress. We're right here in Washington, D.C. I'm here putting up Hamlet, the Globe's Hamlet, here at the Folger, which is a show that I proposed. And um, off we go. Hence, home, you idle creatures. Get you home. Is this a holiday? What, know you not? Being mechanical, you ought not walk upon a laboring day without the sign of your profession. Speak, what trade art thou? What trade art thou? Why, sir, a carpenter? Where is thy leather apron and thy rule? What dost thou when thou with thou best apparel on you, sir? What trade art thou? Truly, sir. In respect of a fine workman, I am but, as you would say, a cobbler. But what trade art thou? Answer me directly. A trade, sir, that I hope I may use with a safe conscience, which is indeed, sir, a mender of bad souls. <laughs> what trade, thou knave, thou naughty knave? What trade? Nay, I beseech you, sir, be not out with me. Yet if you be out, sir, I can mend you. What means thou by that? Mend me, thou saucy fellow. Why, sir, cobble you. Thou art a cobbler, art thou? Truly, sir, all that I live by is with my all. I meddle with no tradesmen's matters, nor women's matters, but with all I am indeed, sir, a surgeon to old shoes. When they are in great danger, I recover them. As proper men as ever trod upon neat's leather have gone upon my handiwork. But wherefore art thou not in thy shop today? Why dost thou lead these men about the streets? Truly, sir, to wear out their shoes, to get myself into more work. But indeed, sir, we make holiday to see Caesar, and to rejoice in his triumph. Wherefore rejoice? What conquest brings, the, brings he home? What tributaries follow him to Rome to grace in captive bonds his chariot wheels? You blocks, you stones, you worse than senseless things. Oh, you hard hearts, you cruel men of Rome. Knew you not Pompey, many a time and oft. Have you climbed up to walls and battlements, to towers and windows, yea, to chimney tops, your infants in your arms, and there have sate, sat the live long day with patient expectation to see great Pompey pass the streets of Rome? And when you saw his chariot but appear, have you not made a universal shout that Tiber trembled underneath her banks to hear the replication of your sounds made in her concave shores? And do you now put on your best attire? And do you now call out a holiday? And do you now strew flowers in his way that comes in triumph over Pompey's blood? Be gone. Run to your houses, fall upon your knees, pray to the gods to intermit the plague that needs must light on this ingratitude. Go, go, good countrymen, and for this fault, assemble all the poor men of your sort. Draw them to Tiber banks, and weep your tears into the channel to the lowest stream to kiss the most exalted shores of all. See where their basest metal be not moved. They vanish tongue-tied in their guiltiness. Go you down that way toward the capital. This way will I disrobe the images. And if you do find them decked with ceremony, if you do find them decked with ceremonies, may we do so? You know it is the feast of Lupercal. It is no matter. Let no images be hung with Caesar's trophies all about and drive away the vulgar from the streets. So do you too, where you perceive them thick. These growing feathers plucked from Caesar's wing will make him fly an ordinary pitch who else would soar above the view of men and keep us all in servile fearfulness. It says servile tearfulness, but I think that's probably wrong. Go you that way toward the capital. That's where we're going. The capital is there. We are going that way. And um, it was just Labor Day weekend, so uh, there was that kind of little resonance. And of course, all the bit about shoes and neat's leather and things. So Books? Leather? Anything? Anybody? Anyone? Alright, well let's hope it only gets more resonant from here.